Well, good morning guys and welcome back to Winding Air Racing. Well today is the day that I'm going to get to the bottom of what is wrong with the rally bot. Why it won't uh, run very well and it sure won't get through emissions which I desperately need to do or else this car I've been working on so much is going to get parked until I do figure it out. So I went ahead and I pulled the plugs. Now Back in the day before there was all these sensors and computers and all this to tell you what's wrong with your car, what we had to do was look at spark plugs. So I went ahead and I pulled the spark plugs because they are a treasure trove of information about how a vehicle is running. So yesterday I went ahead and I pulled this one spark plug was totally dead yesterday. So I went ahead and I cleaned that a little bit. On the left side is another one. And you can see it's just absolutely coated with carbon, not functioning very well. This was one of the cylinders, if you watched the video yesterday, it was running 200 degrees cooler than the other side. Now the two from the side that was running, if you can see that, instead of being totally black, it's brownish, okay? So it's definitely running leaner and firing properly. This one here again, you see that it is brown. You can see some of the porcelain through all the carbon where this one is just totally coated both sides of the left side. Both cylinders of the left side were totally coated with carbon these you can see some of the porcelain which tells me it's running much cleaner but both sides are running rich and rally bug is not running well so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull the carburetor off because i know there has to be some jetting wrong and uh some gummed up ports probably so i'm going to get busy with that and uh, hopefully I'll see something very obvious and I'll uh, bring that back to you guys and uh, show you what's wrong. And uh, hopefully I'm going to get a three-day tag and within the next three days there's going to be license plates instead of paper plates on, uh, on rally bugs. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit after I get that carburetor off and taken apart. We'll see you in a bit. Well, hey guys, I... Uh, Went ahead and I pulled the air cleaner off and uh, the first thing I see is one big no-no. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt inside here. Now dirt inside a carburetor is not a good thing. So there's no doubt that I'm going to see some filth in the jetting that will have to be cleaned out. And uh, yeah seen problems already so i'm going to dig a little bit deeper and bring you back when i see you more well guys every time i get a little bit deeper i see a little bit more problems this is under the air cleaner you see we're getting gasoline all the way up in here now when i saw this last time i worked on this carburetor uh the floats uh, were real high and just allowing a lot of uh uh, gasoline to to migrate up here but also look at right there that is just pure filth getting into there and that feeds right down into where your uh, jet suck the fluid the fuel so yeah we got a big problem with dirt getting into here now I know one thing guys do underneath these filters on both sides of these filters they'll put a layer of grease to seal these better because obviously i'm getting a lot of dirt passing by this air cleaner to get in i mean look at all that dirt right there all that but that's all getting down look at all that right there so my carburetor is full of dirt and that's why it's not functioning properly. So I'm going to get it off right now and we'll start cleaning this thing up. All right, guys, we'll dig a little deeper here. One thing I found 
This is the flow bowl. Now the level is good, but there is some dirt down in there. So there's no doubt that I am getting some dirt down in the carburetor. But one thing I found that's very interesting, and I'll show you, it's gonna take, uh, take two hands. Now, these are the emulsion tubes. You see how this is the main jet on the bottom. This is, it draws the gasoline up into it and then there's some mixing going on and all this. I don't know exactly how it goes, but anyways, the one on this side, I don't know if you can see, but I mean, that is so loose that it makes it very difficult for me to believe that I'm not getting gasoline, extra gasoline, unmetered from the jet, uh, passing by that. So, from another carburetor I had, I have another pair of emulsion tubes right here and smaller jets. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace the emulsion tubes that were in this and uh hopefully i get uh that that just i mean that's so loose that, that's supposed to be a sealed system there uh that jet metering the gas flow so uh that could be the answer to why i am running so rich on this one side so anyways i'm gonna get busy cleaning i'm gonna rejet it we'll uh if i see anything else that's uh you know, like a wow factor, then I'll uh, bring it to you. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, install it, and see how this thing runs. So we'll see you in a little while. All right, guys, well, I got the carburetor all back together and mounted. I started it up and I switched the main jet from a 175 to a 135. So that is leaning out quite a bit. Uh, but what I found was I started up and I ran it and see yesterday these two cylinders on this side were running cooler than on this side. Now today after running it this is the only cylinder that seems to, that is running cooler. Now I'm going to take it out for a spin. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, mount this camera in there and you can come along with me and let's see how it runs. It seemed to have been revving up and idling much better than it was uh, before I switched that one jet and cleaned the carburetor. So let's go for a cruise and we'll see how it runs. And then we'll look at those uh, header temperatures uh, when I get back and see what it is. I, I switched the spark plug out thinking that I had a fouled plug. Now the chance of having one fouled plug after another is a little strange, but I suppose it's possible. I might have to go and uh, buy new plugs and put them in there. So, but uh, that, one, uh, that one header tube being cooler than all the rest and it's about 100 150 degrees cooler uh it's a little strange to me but uh let's see how this thing runs and uh you know maybe things will clear out and uh you know put a few miles on it and might just uh fix things you never know so anyways when i get back we'll be in rally bug
Well guys, that, uh, that drive told me quite a bit. I don't know if you noticed, but it was popping and uh, usually it does that when it's, you know, you get a lean pop, which means that main jet could be a little, little skinny. Uh, I went down 40 points and uh, from 175 to 135 and it could be running a little bit too lean. I still got one cylinder that's uh, a lot cooler than the rest. So I'm going to I'm going to get some new spark plugs and uh, see if I can't get a jet, a main jet around the uh, 150, uh, 150, 155, about the middle of the road there. Uh, I don't know if you did notice, <laughs> I pull out into traffic and, gee, there's a sheriff right there, you know, I'm not even driving with tags, uh, good tags, and uh, it was a constable, but still, they got a radio, so, anyways. I'm back home. I'm going to run in my truck and uh, get a three-day tag and, uh, you know, the saga will continue tomorrow. I got to figure this out. I got to get it done. But the carburetor's clean. So I think we're down to jetting and uh, spark plugs. It's a new cap and rotor, so I can't imagine there's a problem with that. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Like I said, the saga continues tomorrow, and uh, we'll get this thing done. We'll get some, some good plates on, on old rally bug here. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you.